Hi everyone! So today I thought I would film a favourites video for you all. Um, I haven't actually done like a sat down video for quite a few months now. Um, obviously I kind of explained in my last vlog that I've just been very busy with uni. So today I thought I'd come back with a favourites video. I'm having unfortunately to film on my iPhone because I've left my camera at uni. I am hoping to get a new um, good camera soon. But for now, we're going to be left with my phone and I've like precariously, is that the word? <laughs> Balanced it on like perfume bottles and things like that. So just ignore if the quality is not very good. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it won't be too bad. Now today, um, I have some of my favourite products that I've been using in May. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing, um, I've been obsessed with fake tanning at the moment. Um, I also fake tan my best friend Zoe from uni. Um, and we're obsessed with this tan. Now I've used this for probably a few years um, and I don't think I've ever actually thought about how good it is. Um, and this is the white to brown self tan. It's a lotion and it's, you can kind of apply it like I've got now, kind of quite lightly I'd say, like I'm not too brown. Or you can really layer it um, and it doesn't go patchy. It doesn't have an awful, awful smell to it. Like it has a bit of a fake tan scent, but it's nothing too bad. And you can get this off Amazon for like, I would say around eight pounds. Like that is so good compared to um, something like Saint Tropez or Fake Bake. This is really cheap and really good. And you can also get like huge bottles of it, which I'm thinking I might do next time because literally I'm obsessed with this in the summer months. Um, I haven't fake tanned for ages and I've started using it again now just to realize how much I absolutely love this stuff. So this is a big favorite of mine this month. Um, face powders are always something that I'm buying and testing because I have really bad oily skin um, and it's always been an issue for me and I always have to set my foundation very very well so um, I usually use something like MAC Studio Fix um, I've also been loving the MAC Pro Longwear powder but they're very expensive and when I'm fake tanning I don't want to buy an expensive powder because I'm not always tanned I would rather spend money on my kind of paler shades so, as you can probably see by this, I have been loving this powder. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Powder. And this is in Sand Beige, and this is what I use when I'm tanned. And OMG, this is so good. It's practically like um, a Studio Fix powder. It's, yeah, so it looks like this. Comes with a little sponge, which I don't use. And then it like flips up and you get a mirror as well, which is super duper handy when you're on the go. I've been loving this, it keeps me matte all day and just sets my foundation really, really well. Um, yes, so that's like a massive favourite of mine. I am in love with that powder. Let's go on to another powder. Um, I recently bought this, so I wouldn't say it's a monthly favourite, but I've instantly fallen in love with it and I can smell it already. Um, this is the NYX or NYX. I usually call it NYX, um, people call it different things. This is the HD Studio Finishing Powder and basically it's a translucent powder. Completely bright white. <laughs> Obviously it doesn't go on the skin white. I've been setting my foundation with this um, and it's great because, sorry I keep touching my hair, <laughs> um, it's great because obviously you can use it whatever skin tone you are. I've also been baking with this. I would say baking is my favourite thing for this month. Um, my concealer honestly creases so badly and I've never ever ever found a powder that works like I set my own dry eyes with everything like I've tried with like the Anastasia contour kit another contour kit that I'm going to show you in a minute I've tried with face powders I've tried with all sorts of powders nothing works I've tried so many different concealers until now I've never found something that is good for setting my own dry eyes all I do with this is my damp and beauty blender that I usually use for popping on my foundation with get a little bit and push this underneath my eyes um, also underneath my contour or wherever I want to put it leave it on for honestly I wouldn't say very long um, I usually go and either bronze or contour and then come back brush it away and all day my concealer is creaseless like all day like it's crazy it's so so good um, I've never ever found a technique that actually works for me and I never thought that baking would I was always like oh it's something that's just an extra step that really good makeup artists use when they have a lot of time or like in tutorials when they're filming. I didn't think it would work for me, like I thought it was just like a thing that drag queens do 
and then it's like an extra step but honestly hands down it is the best thing to set concealer with like i've been raving about this to like everyone it's so good onto the contour palette that i was just talking about um the cat foundation light palette honestly this is the best contour palette i've ever used my dad got me this when he went to america last he goes away quite a lot for work so i always get him to bring me back um palettes and things that i can't get here this is just you've probably all seen this before it's such a such a good palette now honestly i only really use these two shades and this shade and sometimes this shade um so mainly these four they are so pigmented and compared to the anastasia contour kit they have such good pigmentation i don't know if you can see this camera to be honest um and they're just so blendable and like i literally put my brush in it once and it's enough to contour my whole face like it's insane the pigmentation i'm not going to talk about it too much because i know a lot of people love this and this has been around for so long but i have definitely been loving it this month and for the past few months really it's just so so good i wonder how many times i'll say so so good in this video <laughs> a lot i would say and i keep touching my hair <laughs> so i have quite a few lip products that i'm going to leave till the end um so recently i've been really into gel eyeliner um i've been wearing it quite a lot i'm not the best at it i've got to say like i'm really not great but i've been getting a little bit better and i've been using it with a little zoeva angled brush and this is my favorite gel eyeliner this is just the kiko black gel eyeliner it looks like this it comes in a really cute little pot um just like this i can't remember how much this is i think it's about six quid or something and it is just like i love the formula of it you're probably not going to be able to see it's like really soft and you pop your brush in it and you can get loads on like you have to be really careful it's not solid like you could wipe your finger in it and get loads out and i use a tiny little bit and it's enough for my whole eye i don't know if you can see i'm wearing it now <laughs> but yes it's so so good it lasts all day doesn't smudge doesn't run i have the most watery eyes especially in summer because of my hair fever but this is fantastic like i've been obsessed with gel eyeliner just because of how good this is i love it um, another thing i've been loving for the eyes um, mascara now I am very very fussy with mascara I've got to say like honestly I only ever really use the volumizer from Bourjois because I'm kind of like a, a mascara snob like I'm obsessed with mascara but I bought this because it was on a two for one deal or something like that three for two in boots and I was just my friend Matt was at the till he was like come on Catherine quick <laughs> he was like having a go at me <laughs> as usual <laughs> he'll kill me if he watches this um yes but i was being quite annoying in boots and i just randomly picked this up and i was like oh it's not gonna be very good i'm not into other mascaras other than that mascara and roll lash pick this up and i'm in love um i don't think i'll ever buy bourgeois volumizer again <laughs> because of how good this is it's just like a kind of fabric -y wand um and it's just honestly great it doesn't smell very nice but it's so black this is the <laughs> i haven't told you what it is the l'oreal voluminous extra black times five mascara you probably haven't able to see i hate this video quality but i really want to film um but yes it makes my eyelashes so long black voluminous does everything in one tube and it's brilliant so the last thing before i get into my lip product is the morphe 350 palette um i got this quite a i'd say about two months ago i got it with a jacqueline hill um discount code I'm obsessed with Jacqueline Hill, not gonna lie. Like, I'm obsessed with her Snapchats, her videos, everything, her Instagram. Um, so every time she puts this on her Snapchat, like every time I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I need to go on and get it. I didn't even think about how much it would cost me for shipping and customs and all that. I didn't think, I just ordered it. It cost me a lot in the end because I did have to pay like 12 pound on customs. Um, and overall it cost me a lot, but look how pretty it is. Like, isn't that worth it? it just is like i was wearing this a lot in the colder months and now it's summer it's still so versatile this is my favorite shade here like the pigmentation is crazy like it's so so good um also love these dark browns for creating a smoky eye um the orangey shades are so good as well i remember i put this on my friend zoe um and she was like you put an orange on my eyes but like it just warms up the eye look and it's such a good palette all the colors are so good and i never ever go for my mac palette now because this is just incredible like i don't know whether you can see how good they are the shadows like they're such good quality and i'm obsessed with it it's just what i reach for all the time now okay so i don't know where to start with the lip products because lip products have been my favorite thing
thing this month that I've been quite obsessed. I think it all stems from Kylie Jenner's products. Um, I'm gonna go into those. So, I ordered another one last night. I ordered Coco Care, and I'm expecting to do a video in the next few months when I get my proper camera so I can do some proper swatches and things like that. But these are what I have so far from the Kylie collection. I have So Cute Gloss, and I've been wearing this quite a lot. This is such a pretty nude shade. Um, it's an actual proper nude, unlike Candy Care, which is so dark. Um, it's such a pigmented lip gloss. I don't know whether you can see. Um, I love the brush. I know there was a lot of controversy with the lip gloss brushes, but mine was fine. It smells really nice. I do think it's very strong scent. I'm not going to talk about these too much, but I'm just going to say that I've been loving this. It's not sticky. It's such a pretty colour. Ooh, and it lasts a really, really long time for a gloss. Um, I'm obsessed. And this wasn't too expensive either. Um, I don't get charged customs for when I order, so I've been going quite a bit crazy. <laughs> um, I also have Candy Care, which is what I'm wearing now. Um, at first, I hated the colour of this. And I was like, oh, I'm only going to use the lip liner. Like, use the lip liner with a nude lipstick from MAC or something. But honestly, now that I've got a bit of a tan, I'm obsessed with the colour. Um, I don't really can see how easy this goes on. Everyone's been talking about how good these are, so you don't need me to talk about them. But honestly, they are so pigmented, so creamy, just incredible. And these last so long. Like, I went day drinking with my friends the other day in Leeds. And obviously, I got a little bit tiddled. And I wasn't really thinking about topping up my liquid lipstick all day. And I got back on the train and I was like... How is my lipstick still on? Like, it's crazy. Like, it was still on. Um, they do last a really well, really, really good time. And you don't get that kind of ring with them. Well, I don't anyway. I love them. Um, yeah, so I really would recommend picking one of these up if you have a little bit of extra money, which I don't, but. The last two products are from MAC. Um, so my favorite lipstick at the moment from MAC, I feel like these change all the time. Sometimes I'm into pinky shades, sometimes I'm into like brownie shades. This month I've been loving Yash from MAC, which is a completely matte nude colour. And I've replaced this for Honey Love because I was obsessed with Honey Love, but I honestly think it's a little bit grey on me. And I was never a massive, massive fan of the colour. Like I liked it, but this is honestly so good. It's such a creamy lipstick. It lasts such a, a long time. And it's just the perfect nude for my skin tone. So I've definitely been loving Yash. The last product in my favourites video is the Retro Matte Lipstick Lip Colour from MAC in Lady Be Good. And this is another liquid lipstick that I've been obsessed with. Um, I've been really into liquid lipsticks. And I was so lucky to get this because I think it's been sold out quite a lot recently. I was always checking the website to see if this was on. Because I put off buying Kylie's lip kits for so long. And I was like, this is going to be instead of that, but I ended up buying Carly anyway. Um, but yes, this is such a good formula. I do prefer Carly. I do. These are a tad bit sticky. Just a tad though. Like nothing horrific. Um, I love how pigmented these are though. That's really to be good. These are so pigmented. And honestly, with this, it's just the colour that I love. It's kind of like a slightly orangey peachy nude. Um, and it's just a lighter nude than Candy Care. And you can probably see it next to Candy Care there. That's Candy Care and that's Lady Be Good. It's super duper kind of moussey and creamy. Lasts such a good long time. Such a good long time. <laughs> such a long time. Um, it is a very, very good liquid lipstick. And I'm pretty obsessed with this. And I do love the packaging as well. So yeah. That was my favourites video everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm really sorry if I've been looking straight ahead and not in the camera. It's very hard to film on my iPhone and I know the quality probably won't be the best. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below and like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you fancy because I'm really close to I think 300 subscribers which is so exciting. Because especially since I've not been doing videos lately. Um, I'm really really excited to just kind of grow my channel and start doing videos over the summer because I'm a completely free girl now like no more uni so it's brilliant so yes I hope you enjoyed the video everyone bye